Hello, young artists. Today we are going to use the color wheel and the art element of value to help us design and color a mountainscape. Let's review real quick what we know about color. We know that yellow, blue, and red are the three primary colors. Primary means first. If we were mixing paint, we would use these three colors to mix all the other colors. In between are the secondary colors. Green, because yellow and blue make green, and orange, because yellow and red make orange, and violet or purple, because blue and red mixed together make violet. In between those six colors, the primary colors and the secondary colors, we have the intermediate colors. Those are the ones that have two names, like yellow green, blue green, blue violet, red violet, red orange, and yellow orange. I have a list. I want you to put this in your sketchbook. I want you to go in this order. Yellow, orange, red, violet, blue, and green. If you just want to put the first letter the way I did, that's fine. Let's talk about what value is. I have used a light, medium, and dark purple to color in the letters, V-A-L-U-E, for the word value. Value in with regard to color just means the lightness or darkness. So if I flip my color wheel over, you can see different tints and shades of a color. For example, pink is like a light red and burgundy is like a dark red. Any color can be lighter or darker. We're gonna use value today to create a mountainscape I have an example of Hanging Rock State Park. And from this photograph, you can see really vivid color here. You can see the different kinds of fall leaves. And then back here, it looks green and then lighter green. And then it almost turns kind of a blue color. On another page in this book, we have an example of the Smoky Mountains or the Blue Ridge Mountains. And we wanna use value to kind of recreate the way these mountains look. I'll show you another example. This is a painting by Grandma Moses called A Beautiful World. And she uses bright, a few bright colors here. And then the colors get less bright the green gets a little lighter, and then there are mountains here far away, and they almost look like the same blue as the sky. Here are some examples of student work that was done a few years ago. This one is made with chalk, and I want you to notice the order. Green, and then there's a blue-green, then blue, and then a lighter blue, and then violet. That's why I wanted you to write that in this order. I'll show you another one. This one has a bright orange sunset, purple or violet, and then a blue green, and then a green. This would have looked a little better if the artist had, had added blue in between the violet and the green. Here is another one. These are made with torn paper. The artist, again, has used a bright sunset, yellow, orange, and red, a very pale violet, a pale blue violet, another one here, a richer violet, and then another darker violet. This would have been better if there had been maybe a blue down here. They kind of got their colors a little mixed up right here. I'll show you one more. This one's upside down. And they only used blue they have a bright sunset kind of a turquoise blue a light blue and a deeper blue here this again is made with torn paper it's just glued a bit on the edges i'm going to show you how to sketch this in today i'm gonna put a paper here and grab a sharpie you can sketch this in with a pencil I need another magnet. And 
you decide how much sky or land you want to use, I would go about halfway. And I don't want to go up down like this to make mountains. I want a more natural look. So I would start with my horizon line and I would make kind of a wiggly line. And I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to bring in another mountain range here. Again, you would be doing this in pencil. I'm going to stop. I'm going to bring another one in here. I would like you to get about four of them in. I'm going to bring another one here. And I'm going to let this curve more so it looks a bit more up close. And then I'm going to bring another one in here and it's going to go all the way to the edge of my paper. This gives me one, two, three, four, five mountain ranges. I think this looks a little bit too big. So I'm, this space looks a little too tall. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna add another one that comes down like that. Pencil yours in, follow the order of the color wheel. You can make your sky any way that you want. And I would start with a very light or pale color here, maybe a very pale purple, and then a richer purple, and then a blue, a pale blue, a richer blue, maybe a green and a yellow green by following the color wheel. I'm gonna spin this around so it makes a little more sense if it will spin. There we go. like that. Good luck sketching in your mountainscape and coloring it in in an order that makes sense. See you next time, young artists.